What's going on, guys? All right. Um, yeah, it would appear that uh, Christmas has come early for for a couple of us boxing fans. There's some uh, breaking news that uh, came out yesterday. It was reported on BoxingScene.com that Larry Merchant is going to be retiring after tomorrow's bra- broadcast. Um, the Donair and, and uh, Donair and RC fight. That'll be his last his last time uh, covering boxing for HBO. Again, it's kind of a bittersweet thing, man. I, I know that I've sat here and uh, and criticized Larry Merchant on a bunch of my videos. I know a lot of other people have too. Um, it's it's kind of like it's kind of like one of those things, man. I, I got I've got an un- uncle on my mother's side. And to make a long story short, he's an asshole, you know, and he's been that way his whole life. He's one of these guys that just thinks he knows fucking everything, you know, and uh, and as a result of that, he, he, he has very little friends and has been broke for a long time. So he spent a big chunk of his life and my life on uh, on my mom's couch, you know, and every day, uh, you know, I'd come in from school or fucking or whatever it was that I was doing, and I'd have to hear you know, his his stories, or he'd tell me something that's going on in the news, or, yo, sit down, sit down and watch this shit, or whatever, uh, he's just, he was just like an, you know, I don't know, I don't know how to explain it, but, but on top of that, he was just, he was just an asshole, he was a mean, angry, fucking, fucking dude, you know, um, he, he's actually the person that brought me, brought me into boxing, though, I do give him that much, he brought me into boxing and introduced me to the sport and everything, but aside from that, you know, he he was just like that, and he lost his he lost his job, he lost his wife, he lost you know he just fucking lost everything in life, and he he never seemed to believe that the problem was him. So to make a long story short, he moved away like maybe a year and a half ago, two years ago. You know, and every now and again, I think I think about the dude, and I'm like, damn, you know, I kind I kind of I kind of miss him. You know, even though he, even though when he's around me for more than an hour, he he fucking he annoys me to no end. But you know, when you when you think back, you're like, you know, maybe maybe he wasn't so bad. And then when you see him again, you realize he was that bad, and you just want him to get the fuck out of your out of your uh, face. But um, I I think it's gonna be the same kind of thing with Larry Merchant. I I haven't my entire life. Uh, I, I think Merchant must have started somewhere in the mid '80s, early '80s. I think he must have started uh, commentating on boxing. I was born in '84. I, I don't remember boxing without Larry Merchant. You know, I, my, my whole life he's been he's been commentating on the sport, and um, you know, there's been some memorable uh, memorable things that he's uh, famous for or infamous for. You know, the James Tony uh, interview and Roy Jones and and some things with Mike Tyson, um, and just recently with Floyd Mayweather and, and, uh, and him and George Foreman going back and forth, you know, it's just, and, and, and his little, his little speeches at the end of the, uh, at the end of the fight, he does the, the old, like, you know, uh, well, well, Jim, uh, sometimes a fighter is, sometimes a fighter is a, a grade A hamburger, other times he's a McDonald's patty. You know, it's just some shit that you don't even. You're like, what the fuck is this guy talking about? You know, I, I think that's something we're gonna miss, man. Um, Max Kellerman, I, I, I guess he's all right. He's an all right replacement. I guess over time, the next five, ten years, it'll become something that we're used to. But he he definitely does lack something. Larry, for all his faults, he had there was something about him, his old drunk ass, that there was, you know. But if it's for the better of boxing, it'll definitely it'll definitely be for the better of boxing because his comment his commentary has been uh, very very biased and it's gotten worse over the past couple of years and um, and I, I I didn't see any stop in sight you know if if he could have he would have just you know for guys like Pacquiao and for Mexican fighters that he that he liked with the come forward aggressive style he would have just fucking you know if 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 it was just him on the mic man. You would have you would have been seeing the fight through his eyes, and it, and it just that's pretty much what's been happening in boxing. So, at any rate, hopefully hopefully he rides off into the sunset. His last couple of years, he does you know he does his thing, and and uh, you know I wish him the best as a boxing fan. I truly do. Um, also, Poonsawat Kraken Kraken Dangen, the guy whatever his name is, the guy that was supposed to be fighting uh, Guillermo Rigondeaux, 
has uh, has been reported to have tested positive for HIV, so that fight is canceled for this weekend. Um, I'm, I'm really upset to hear that, man. I, I thought that that was the better card that was going on this weekend. Uh, the Khan and Angulo card was kind of weak, you know, given the given the competition that they were up against. But the uh, but Rigondeaux, we, we probably would have been, been able to find some things out about him. And uh, having him on the same card as Donaire gave us the idea that they were looking to pair the two up uh, pretty soon, you know. And uh, I guess Donaire, Donaire's, now he's got an excuse, man. He could fight RC right now and say, you know what, Mars doesn't want to fight me. And Rigan Diaz irrelevant. This was supposed to be Rigan Diaz coming out party. He could say, Morris doesn't want to fight me. Rigan Diaz hasn't fought nobody. Um, and, and I'm going up to 126. <coughs> so he's got the perfect opportunity right now to to uh, to bounce without without fighting Rigan Diaz. So, you know, sometimes that's how this shit is, man. You know, he got... I, w I won't say, you know, I won't say he got lucky because it's a, it's a toss-up fight. But I know it's a fight that he definitely doesn't want. And now it's a fight that seemingly... You know, he has a built-in excuse. He doesn't have to take this fight right now. You know, and a lot of people can say, well, you know, what the fuck? Uh, a lot of people would, would look at it to where you really can't fault the dude. I wouldn't. You know, I think he should still fight him no matter what. But it is what it is, man. The dude tested positive for HIV. I don't know how he's beaten that test uh, for so long. Maybe maybe they don't test for that in, in, in Thailand or... Or maybe he just caught it. I don't. I don't really know what it is, but um, you know, it's a good thing that they did catch it, man, because it could have been. It could have been a really tragic thing if both the guys got cut. I'm not really too sure about how, how that, uh, how it's transmitted. I don't know if from one cut to the next it can happen like that once it's airborne. But at, at any rate, I wouldn't be willing to risk it. So it's it's good that they caught that. It could have been a tragic event, and it is. It is tragic, man, that that he's that he's got to deal with that. But you know, with modern science and everything like that, they they. He can expect a uh, he can expect a normal uh, adult. You know what I'm saying? He can make it to where he's seventy, fucking sixty, seventy years old with with, with the virus nowadays. Um, and it looks like his career is over. So that kind of sucks, man. Hopefully, you know, hopefully he's got a little money put away or something like that. But anyways, that's the news. Um, I, after this fight, unless something miraculous happens after this fight, I'm probably not going to be around. There's not too much going on as far as boxing is concerned. So I'm going to spend my time with my family and, and enjoy the holiday season. You guys do the same thing. Stay safe. There's a lot of crazy shit happening this time of year. And um, until the next time, man, maybe maybe sometime in January, unless something crazy happens this weekend. I'm hoping that we see something similar to last weekend, but you never know. So I'm out of here.